Ain't nobody, I ain't even hate on it. I ain't even hate on it. But you gotta sit over here and start fucking dick eating, dick eating, know that you been fucking on me. Before I even came home, fuck since I came home, before I came home, I was getting messages from my former manager telling me about a girl named Azalea Banks who's from Harlem and she raps and she said to tell you that she loves you and you're a fan, like, stop it, all you bitches, all you bitches that was a fuck, I ain't had no phone when I came home, I ain't had a phone in seven years, so all you bitches that reached out to motherfuckers and got my phone number and was sitting there texting me, fucking scrollies, a scrollie is a message that's so long you gotta fucking use your thumb to read the whole shit, stop playing with me. Stop it, because I don't be on no shit. Yes, Vince. Nobody's paying her any attention. No, this is. Let me tell you something. Let me. I'm gonna tell you, and I'm gonna tell everybody else that I'm talking to, and everybody else that keeps calling me. The problem is, we live in an era now where people feel like they can sit on their phone or their iPad or their laptop or whatever and say whatever the fuck they want to say, and they're they're waiting and expecting somebody like you to say, "Leave it alone. It's not that serious. They're not worth it." They're like, "No, it don't fucking work like that." Especially when you're somebody who reached out to me when you was ready to fucking. Live literally slit your wrist and i'm like chill fuck this industry shit do some other shit use your talents for other things like and i take out my time to actually fucking try to talk you off the ledge and you try to fucking disrespect me in the next breath nah it don't fucking work like that i've been being nice since i fucking came home i've been letting shit slide since i fucking came home and now niggas think they could just say whatever they want oh all right i'm gonna say something to ram and if these fuck boys at the pay you know then then i'm gonna be lit nah nigga you gonna say something to ram and i'm gonna fucking violate you like, leave me the fuck alone. You saying trying to discredit what I do? None of these bitches wasn't doing nothing. Nothing. She's one of them that sat around the whole seven years I was gone, sitting around twiddling their fucking thumbs, waiting for somebody to do a song with them, waiting for somebody to take a picture with them. A bitch that wasn't fucking with nobody at all, period. And now they trying to fucking act like, you know, oh... I can't, I can say I fucking single-handedly did anything, but I know I fucking contributed, and that's all that fucking matters, I don't gotta do anything, I could've sat on my motherfucking high horse, regardless of who motherfucking song y'all think it was, I know what my motherfucking paycheck say, I know what my royalty say, I could've sat there and be like, oh, I got my two Grammy nominations, uh, I got my best female artist of the year award, I got a gold song, I got a double platinum song, close the door, fuck you bitches, nah, I ain't do that. I always said, if I get in, I'm opening the door and I'm putting a fucking door stopper under it. That's it, and I saw. Don't fucking say nothing to me. Nothing. No things. That's what nothing is. Nothing is a word. It should be no things. Don't say no things to me. At all. Don't fucking sub me. Don't at me. Don't nothing. And all these little dumbass bitches that's sitting there liking shit, I got y'all fucking messages too. Cornball. And if any of your fucking, if any of your faves got a fucking pedophile brother that's in fucking jail, get the fuck off my page. Don't say nothing to me because I let that slide too. I could have went in and took the opportunity to violate and capitalize off that too. Leave me alone. The fuck out of here. I'll call you back. I'm busy right now. Thank you. Fuck you talking about. Always sit back and take the fucking high road. I don't have to. I could be funny too. I can make jokes too. Come on, my nigga. Like, stop it. Stop it. Go on with your life. Leave me alone. Let me and my husband do my black love thing. Let me get my checks from Mona. Let me do my new multi million dollar Columbia record deal. Let me put out my records with Little Kim, an icon. That still, is, yes, it's bubbling on Billboard's under 100. Absolutely. It's been out for four weeks. It's doing amazing. Last time I checked, it was once again one of the most added records, one of the most increases in airplays. I'm good with that. I'm okay with that because I came from nothing. I came from nothing. As far as I'm concerned, I'm an artist that just came out two years ago. What are you doing? Stop it. Stop it. Because when I feel like it, I listen and I be chilling on call because I feel like it. The day that I wake up and I'm like, oh, I don't feel like it, I'm going to violate you. And we can do whatever we want to do. I already know y'all bitches already got nine and one already pressed. 
So as soon as I even act like I'm gonna do something to y'all, y'all gonna press that last one. So there's no, no, please don't mistake this for me being violent. All you weirdos in here like, oh, her P.O. this I, I'm in my home. It's my curfew. It's my day off. My husband and I are sitting here watching the boxing match. And I get a text talking about how somebody talking crazy. Somebody that reached out and I call like, yo, be easy, chill. What's for you is for you. It's going to get better. Didn't you just get a new deal? Wasn't you just posting about having a new deal? Even when you was, you know what's so crazy? I'm going to tell you how stupid you are. You was on my list of chicks that I was bringing out with me, females that I was bringing out with me to Summer Jam. Five days before Summer Jam, you on a rant on your Instagram page talking stupid for no reason. For no reason at all, period. I didn't understand it. And I left it alone. I didn't call you. I didn't reach out to you. You can ask anybody that I don't fuck with no more. You do something online, I'm not calling you. People are like, yo, did you call so-and-so? Did y'all talk after that? Nah. Nah, I'm not calling you. I'm not doing nothing. I'm going to let you be great. Now you sitting over there on your fucking Instagram laptop always getting crazy. Now you violated. You violated. You forget. You be on that Gemini shit, bitch. My birthday the day before yours. We could do this shit all day. All day. I don't have nothing that I'm ashamed of. Nothing. Because I'm a stand-up bitch. I'm a stand-up woman. Can nobody never say, I don't give a fuck what they sit there and try to portray. Can't nobody say to my face, ever, ever, that I be on some fucking fake or phony shit. I don't. If I don't fuck with you, I don't fuck with you. That's it. That's all. What about, I don't give a fuck about none of you bitches. None of you bitches. All y'all bitches is mad. How the fuck you mad at me? How you mad at a bitch that sat in a motherfucking pen for seven fucking years and came home and got her fucking bag? A bitch that went independent and got a major to give her a multi-million record deal and she still got her masters. How the fuck you mad at me? A bitch that they get tell her she got 22 minutes at Summer Jam and she reach, reach out to 20 other motherfuckers and say, I'm going to share my stage with them. We're going to make a moment. I'm going to try to get out our Grammy category back. I'm going to try to, you know, make it something, something that's different. Because I could tear a bitch down. Trust me, my mouth is crazy. Hands crazy. But I will break a bitch down to the least common denominator. But it takes a special kind of female. It takes a special kind of woman that can build another woman up. That's what y'all don't know how to do. Y'all don't know how to do that. Because y'all not fucking humble. When I say that shit in my book, I mean y'all bitches not, y'all not humble enough. That's why y'all, that's why y'all be mad every day. That's why you're miserable. That's why you're angry. That's why your love life ain't shit. That's why your family life is shit. That's why your business shit never go right. And I'm not just talking to Azilia right now. I'm talking to a lot of you females. This is for females that's not even famous. A lot of times when I say shit, and y'all sit here like, oh, she talking about so-and-so. I'm talking about people that y'all don't even know. Regular, regular girls that's walking around that I encounter in my life. That's why you angry. That's why nothing seems to go right because you're not living right. You living foul. That's some foul shit. I'm the queen. You know how much shit when bitches are sitting here lying on me? I could have went in my phone and started sending out their text messages like, really, bitch? What about this? Start playing back voice messages because I never check my voicemail. The great thing about just coming home from prison and having a new phone, bitch, I got all my messages, all my voicemails, everything, voice notes, everything. That's corny to me. If I don't fuck with a bitch no more, we could have been like this. I don't give a fuck what this bitch say about me. What lies she tell on me. What fucking people I don't fuck with that she start hanging out with. I don't give a fuck. I'm not going to shit on you. I'm not going to go and start spewing all your fucking information out. But it's, it seems like it's becoming like a trend. Like, oh, all right, I need some attention. I'm going to say something to Rem. I'm going to try to catch Rem Vane. Nah, I'm going to start really violating y'all. I really am. That's why I shot who? Y'all niggas saying that's why you shot. Y'all don't know that I don't have any friends. Any friend of mine would have never even, like, y'all don't even know the situation. Like, what are you talking about? I can count on my one hand how many friends I got. Fuck is you talking about? That's another thing that y'all stupid motherfuckers don't know. If somebody just, everybody that went to prison isn't guilty. The same way everybody that's walking around in these motherfucking streets ain't innocent. Be careful who you call a felon. Somebody that you love might be a felon one day. You might be a felon one day. 
Be careful who you laugh and joke at because of these situations. Because you might find yourself in that same situation. That's just the way God works. But I learned that. I learned that because I've been here and I've been here. I've been in the middle. Every fucking thing that anybody could throw at me, I can handle it because I've been through it all. And I'm happy. I am genuinely in my heart, in my soul, I'm happy. My family is good. My mom, my sisters, my brothers, they're good. Everybody has the best health. No one's sick. My children love me. My stepchildren love me. My husband loves me. Who loves you? Look, ask yourself right now. Who, honest to God, loves you? And I'm not just, once again, I'm not just talking to this fucking first name Bo, last name Zoe, clown. I'm not just talking to her. I'm talking to all you motherfuckers that's sitting here in my comments that got trying to catch my vein. I'm going to say this, and then she's going to say something back to me. Now I'm going to make it to the shade room. I'm not, I don't give a fuck about you. You know who I care about? The people that's like, Bram, I love you. Bram, I support you. Bram, I downloaded your record. Bram, I appreciate what you, what you bring to the table for females. I appreciate you and your husband's relationship. Those are the people that I care about. I don't give two fucks about nothing, but what you're not going to do, you're not going to sit here and disrespect. I have, a, I, have a certain, I have a certain issue with people who I actually try to do something for or who I feel like have interacted with me enough, enough, just enough to know that you really shame, like, like, I don't deserve that. Like, I don't deserve that. I'm not like a foul bitch. I don't just do foul shit to people for no reason. Like, that's not me. So some people, that's foul. But you know what my problem is? My problem is people tell me about other people. Ram, stay away from that bitch. That bitch did this, this, and this, and this, and that to this person. She did this, 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 and that to that person. That bitch foul. That bitch grimy. And you know what I do? I give them a chance. They ain't do it to me. Stop. Please, stop. They ain't do that to me. So, I give you a chance. And sometimes, the people turn out to be a right. Because I know how it is to be misjudged. I've had people misjudge me before. So, I give people a chance. But sometimes, the people are right. And people are really pieces of shit. And you should just really stay away from them. So, with that being said, I am clear, I am done, unless I feel like saying something else, then I will, but you, you little Miss Missy, stop, 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 you told me yourself, people think a certain way about you, people should be like, this, but this is what you do for no reason, like, stop. Fucking bozo. Now, everybody, make sure you go stream and download. This is my um, fake female rapper voice. Sh everybody, make sure you go stream and download my record, Wake Me Up, featuring Little Kim. Watch the video. I think we're at like 7, 8 million views right now. I appreciate all the love. Shout out to everyone that signed up on RemyMomMusic.com. All the people that I was calling yesterday and that I called this morning. It was so great talking to all of you guys. All the people that... It was like two people that signed up and I called and y'all didn't answer. And your voicemail was full. So, I love you guys. I appreciate it. And um, look out for my next single coming next month. The video is shot. Everything shot. It's crazy. And, um, yeah. <laughs> Babe, you ready for me to watch the fight with you now? Did I miss the whole thing? Good. Gotta fucked up my date night. Not y'all, but yeah. Love yourself. Find somebody that loves you. Stop living for this shit. This shit right here fake, bruh. Shit not real, bruh.